Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to learn more about the nested stacks. So what are nested stacks? Nested stacks are stacks within another stack. And for example, we'll be considering VPC as well as EC2 templates. And we'll be nesting this VPC template into our EC2 template while with the help of which we'll we'll be attaching the VPC to our EC2 instance. So let's get started with this. So first of all, what I'll be doing is I will be creating a cloud formation stack of this for this particular VPC. Upload a template now. I've already created the template for VPC. And if you don't and know how to create VPC, please watch the earlier videos. I'll be giving the link in the description box. So go and watch them first and after that, will get a good understanding of what I'm doing now. The rest of the things I'll be keeping them as it is. And I'll be copying this template because I will be referencing it later in an EC2 instance. Okay. So I've copied this and we are done. Submit. So now this VPC template will now be created and now what we'll do in the EC2 instance is this that we'll be adding stack over here. We'll be making use of resource which is of type stack. So basically this AWS cloud formation stack resource nests a stack as a source as a resource in a top level template. So we'll see the example of it and try to understand how we can implement it. Now, in this case, they have mentioned my stack with params over here. We'll consider our VPC stack over here and then accordingly add the detailed parameters as well. I'll be copying this from over here within the resources. I'll be pasting it. I'll edit this name from my stack with params to my VPC stack. Okay. Type will remain as it is. For the properties, within the properties, we have got template URL. Now, over here, I'll be making use of this particular link. Okay. So this is the template URL. After that, we'll be passing parameters to our this template. So before writing any of those, we'll try to understand which parameters are being uh, mentioned in our VPC template. So over here, I've used VPC CIDR as well as subnet CIDR. So first of all, I'll copy these two in my EC2 instance within the parameter section. Okay, I've added these over here. Now the same parameters I'll be adding it over here. Okay, so the parameters are VPC, CIDR, folder. And this will be referenced with the same ID. Okay? Because we mentioned the same ID over here, right? You can change it or keep it same. It's all upon you. I have kept it the same for my convenience. Net CIDR. In this, the reference will be subnet CIDR. Okay. So with this, we are done creating the resource of my VPC stack. And now we have just created it in our this template, EC2 template. But we want to attach the subnet ID of this particular VPC to our EC2 instance. So for that, we make use of network interfaces. 
Here is the example where we have used network interfaces with basic parameters involved like associate, public IP address, device index, as well as subnet ID along with a group set. So all these can be used. So we'll go inside of the EC2 instance. Just below this. Within the network interfaces, we'll be defining all these, all of these parameters. Okay. I'll be keeping this associate public IP address the same, along with device index also the same, and remove this group set as of now. And for the subnet ID, I'll be referencing the subnet ID of this particular VPC stack. So within the VPC, we have outputted few or exported few values like VPC, then subnet as well as my security group. So I have outputted or exported these particular values, which I can use in this particular template. So how can I do that? I'll just go in my VPC stack. Within my VPC, I'll be going to outputs. And then within output, I will be referencing my subnet. Right. So this will be the correct subnet ID that we'll be getting from the VPC stack. So I will be saving this. Now let's go to our cloud formation template. I hope this creation must have completed. Yeah. So we'll go to create stack, create with new resources, upload a template file, choose file. So I'll be choosing EC2 nested one. Okay. And next. I think there is one error again. So unresolved resource dependencies. Okay, I got two problems. It's not just one my VPC, it's my VPC stack, right? So control S. And again, we'll go to the stacks. Go to close this, create stack with new resources, upload a template file. Choose file and on this I will be getting EC2 nested. Okay, then next again there is some sort of error. But what's wrong? Need to check my VPC stack dot oh okay okay I got it that I had I have to mention the get attribute over here for getting the value of this particular subnet right not the subnet id but the actual value so for that we require get attribute only so okay one more mistake there is EC2 nested, open, next. I need to check once again that whether it's giving me the error or not. Yes, there's no error now. My EC2 instance, I'll be selecting the SSH key as mentioned earlier. I'll name it as my instance. My nested instance. 
Okay. And then after that, going to next. This will be the template URL for this. So this particular EC2, I acknowledge and submit. Now you can see that my EC2 is creating progress. So in this way, we can really make use of nested stacks in different uh, scenarios that require the reuse of the existing resources. So hope you like the video. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you really found the videos useful. Also, don't forget to press that bell icon for new updates. Thank you so much and have a nice day. Bye-bye.